My name's Phoebe, I'm 19 and I'm currently studying medicine at the University of Leicester. Because of my stammer, I never ever thought it would be possible. Growing up, I was a very vibrant child. I would do dance shows for my mum in the living room. But I started to stammer at the age of eight. I remember feeling discomfort. When she started secondary school, I noticed that she wants to answer questions in class, but the words are not coming out. She comes back home crying that she's not had a good day at school. I kept on blocking on every word and repeating myself. And someone said, I sounded like a broken record. It really took a toll on my confidence. I could see what my daughter is going through, but I can't help as much as I want to help. It was really difficult. I felt really embarrassed, like I was a burden. I became very withdrawn, which was the complete opposite to the vibrant, bubbly child I once was. When she was 16, she attended a sort of a two weeks intensive course, learning techniques to be able to manage it. It was my first experience meeting other teenagers with the same problem and that definitely made me feel more confident. Hi guys, how are you tonight? Today I've come back to the charity that helped me to meet some young people who stammer and encourage them to be more confident in themselves. Like, how do you feel about your stammers? At times I can feel a bit embarrassed and a bit, like, a bit ashamed in, in a way. If people could make, like, comments behind your back, it's just, like, disrespectful. I use my stammer a lot and the whole, the whole class usually laugh at me. Like, I would definitely experience negative thoughts. It wasn't until I accepted my stammer really, not let it control me, that I got a lot better. There's 150,000 children and young people across the UK. Many of them feel like they're completely isolated. So the Children Need Funding allows them to come away for a week, do things like canoeing and rock climbing, mixed with speech and language therapy, showing them that they shouldn't let their stammer hold them back. You thought, I can do it. Yeah. That's the mentality to have. Charity work is very important to me because I know what it feels like and I want to help to make people's lives better. For her to be coming out to do the rickshaw challenge is just amazing. I'm preparing by working out in the gym pretty much every day. Cycling that distance will be physically enduring, so her just wanting to do something of that magnitude really shows how courageous she is. Even though I'm older than her, I see her as like, you know, a bit of a superhero because she's been through so much. And for her to come at the other end, smiling, happy, is just, it's just a blessing to see. It's really important to donate because I want to raise awareness of stammering to help other young people like myself.